to my March pickups, which kind of only about really one thing, and that's Skylanders. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of Skylanders. Right, basically this month I have picked up uh, Spyro's Avenger, second hand, um, complete and everything for the 360, and uh, also the Wii U version of Giants, uh, which was new, and Swap Force as well, Skylanders for the 360, <laughs> so... Um, all of those, plus a multitude of figures and various bits of plastic crap that I really don't need. Um, but they're good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a few. It's, um, just, just a couple. And as you're probably scrolling along the bottom of the screen now, by the magical technology. Uh, Coming in, what entices everyone to play Skylanders? What, what got you hooked? Um, but the thing was, I, I kind of, I fancied it for a while, and I just thought I'd try it. it. It got to a point now it's cheap. You know, it's like fifteen pounds, ten pounds and stuff. You know, <laughs> it's like really, really cheap for starter sets. And I thought I'd just try it and tried it. And I just really enjoyed it. It is, it is basically Fisher Price's My First Diablo. That's what it is. It is Fisher Price's My First Diablo. If you want your kids to grow up, like, shut behind the TV screen, playing, like, obscure RPGs and stuff, that's the game to get them, you know. Um, they're probably not a very good kind of a recommendation. Yeah. But, yeah... Um, they wouldn't want them to go out into the real world or anything. Now. Yeah, exactly. Play yeah. games. Like, like twenty. You know, this it, is what happens when you play games. Aren't you jealous? Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. But yeah, um, it is basically a very, very lightweight Diablo-style roaming dungeon crawler. It's gauntlet with knobs on. Basically, it's just basically a very posh gauntlet. Very, very enjoyable co-op. I mean, we kind of like bashed that yeah. a few times. A few so. nights, yeah. That's how he trailed me into eventually getting it myself as well. Well, you tried it, you like, I really quite like yeah. this. Which is yeah. basically what my reaction was. I actually just bought it. I was like, oh, this is quite good. I think what, what yeah. uh, enticed me the most was the figures. Um, I mean, there's so much to come for. You, you generally, if you get a generic game, like you go with a figure that you design and you don't really give a toss about. But with these, you, you actually pick your figure and you level the fucker up, you know, you, whatever game you put him on, provided within reasons, and that they all work, and yeah, you carry yeah. over to different yeah. things, they're uh, forward compatible. Yeah, it's all forward compatible, forward basically. Compatible. So you, if, you, if you buy and, a Spyro's uh, Adventure yeah. figure, it will work with everything. It's just, it's not, yeah. it's this exact one. It's not that's one. Like, it's, it's, the same, one. it's not your that's one, obviously. One your I one's found. at home. Yeah. <laughs> this is the, when this guy was awesome, I mean, I love sharks and all that, and I mean, but for kids' imagination, some of the old figures, you know, if you want to give them nightmares and stuff like that, you know, if they're quite young, go for that figure. But they've all got different abilities and... Um... The actual levelling up is very simple. It, it, it's not scarily complicated. I mean, a lot of people... I can do it, so it's really easy. A lot of people <laughs> will be put off by stats. I'm looking behind the camera at this moment. <laughs> um, a lot of people will be put off by stats and numbers that you've got to sort of set. But the choices yeah. for levelling are so simple. It is designed for seven year olds for God's sake, you know. That's why it appeals to me. I, I mean it's usual it. I mean it's a usual thing, it's not to free sad onions. Um <laughs> as per normal. But uh, you're basically it's six plus, you know. So you it's really aimed at sort of six to twelve year olds, but the amount of like adults and stuff that you see actually play this and get hooked into this kiddie cocaine thing, you know. It's we ridiculous. knew from the moment we saw it coming up on your game was like, what? Yeah. What's he doing? Yeah, you were like, I didn't think you'd ever play that. You know, it's like, well, yeah. it's, it's actually um, really rather good. I love the fact as well that you can get extra levels, not just extra characters. Because I mean, every character has their own ability. They have two paths to choose. You know, you have a bigger run faster and head butt, or they're fireballs fire most of them. Are. Yeah. We've been very, you can get levels as well. And, and that's what I like about... The different figures is the variance. Yeah. There's so much difference between each character. Yeah. You know, I mean, of the one, you know, you've, you've got like what, 10 now, some 12, something like that? Oh, it's 20 now. 20? <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> yeah, I've been buying a few. 
Okay, so yeah, get in there. Yeah, also, so. you do need um, different elements to open up different parts and different levels, but basically they just are uh, just like a treasure trove. Right. Well, it's, it's, very, right. it's very annoying because on the first two games, you only really need the eight elements. Mm. Uh, and then for Spot Force, they introduced eight skills as well. So you needed to buy a new eight expensive Swap Force figures to actually um, to do that. So like so be modelling the different figures. these sort of swappable ones, which um, I can't really sort of show. Actually, can you pass me that flaming headed dude? This one. No, no, no that flaming headed dude. No. <laughs> that, that one. <laughs> yeah. So He's got flaming heads as well. It's <laughs> more <laughs> a horn than the flaming head. It's, um, but yeah. Essentially, what you basically do is you, <laughs> is you take them off like that, and you swap. And you swap them, and we can play conkers in the playground. <laughs> you, you can basically level up the bottoms and tops independently, mm. and you can sort of mix and match and completely change your playstyle and complicate things up a little bit, which is kind of cool. Uh, it doesn't really help. I just showed like two different versions yeah. of the same figure, but <laughs> you can do it with any different version. Bank balance well. games. <laughs> Yeah. And they're not short games. I mean, I played through Spyro the first one. I spent quite a few time, uh, quite a few times doing all different routes and not different levels that I had the characters through. And it took me about 15, 15 plus hours. I yeah, and, and there's an awful lot of other stuff you can do afterwards, like playing it on Nightmare and playing it, yeah. I know, completing challenges, completing this and completing that. So for kids and stuff, there's a lot to do, you know. Zelda's not a hidden character, even though there's two swords there. Actually, there's a shield there. That's even better. <laughs> yeah. You want to make a Zelda reference? There you go. There's a Zelda reference. It's, um... <laughs> but yeah, I, uh, on the whole, I really, I mean, I don't know what you reckon, because you can, I, I sort of started with Giants. I did actually start yeah. with Giants and then I went to Spyro. Mm. I, I think Spyro is the worst game. I've only played Spyro. So yeah, I, I think personally Spyro is the worst game, but it's the best one to start with because mm. You, it, the level caps at 10. You can only yeah. level up to level 10. Uh, with Giants, it's 15. And with Swap Force, it's, 50, it's 20. It's 20. Mm. And I really think that you should start with Spires Adventure. It's still good. It's still really good. There's no way near as much last ability or longevity or anything else as the other two. But it's still really good. And in, it's still, you know, cheap. It's like 15 to 20 pounds around that region. So... Um, get your portal, you get your free characters, mm, you know, get yeah. started and then you slowly see them in the corner of your eye and the game sale as you go out and get mm. more and lots more. I'm sure there's a Skylanders addiction clinic. Yeah. 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 There will be eventually. Yeah. <laughs> there will be eventually. <laughs> Have you joined the Star Skylanders Club at game yet? Ages ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Ages ago. Yeah. I haven't got this sort of thing. I, no, I own... love Spyro. Um, it's one of those games where I was actually at work thinking about playing it. Yeah. Not many yeah. games do that to it's me these awesome. days. And um, yeah. went, went to Richard's a few weeks back when it was a uh, Angel's party, went to the Angel's no, so. party. And I said, right, come on, let's get this Spyro on mm. to the usual yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we ended up playing for an hour for the kids to go. Did like, you notice that? What's that? Oh, cool. Trick snappy. It's, yeah, but there's no guns. No, it's trick snappy. It's not trigger happy. It's trick snappy. Oh, right. <laughs> it's this little kind of um, it's like a limited edition thing. It's really hard to get hold of, and you just kind of um. Did you show it? It's, 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 you said you mentioned the sky and the stuff. That's one of the rewards, basically. So you buy so many of them, it's like you know. Spend lots, lots more money and get one of these. Yeah, I want the polar whirlwind. I've got the normal whirlwind. I want the white one. Mm. Um, I've got two normal whirlwinds. I've got series one and series two. But, uh... I mean, I love this character. And, whirlwind. Um, yeah, it's whirlwind, is it? <laughs> oh my god, I wasn't looking at you. <laughs> yeah, basically, you're doing a, doing a car, but she has an ability that when you find her. Or thing, or yeah, yeah, the, um, you can fire, thing. yeah, <laughs> soul gem, yeah, soul, soul gem. gem. She can fire healing rays and it helps her through many levels, yeah, 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 and that's really, really cool. So, if you've got a younger sister that you don't really like, get her that character because <laughs> it's sort of like a unicorn, you know, it, flies. Well, it is, it's like a, it's, yeah. it's a unicorn that's mated with a dragon, which I don't <laughs> actually want to have a mental picture of because it's not very pleasant, but um. <laughs> This is so nice. That's what Trangoro's made it. Yeah. <laughs> Finish him. <laughs> the only problem I have is, is you can't play co op online. No. Yeah. It's a bit of a shame. It, it's very it's much. Nice though, all, yeah. No, I don't think it's that. I personally, I think it's very much where it's aimed at seven year olds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very much where it's aimed at the seven to ten year olds. Mm -hmm. And they don't want them going online. Yeah. And they true. very much don't want them going online. It bugs me to all hell that I can't play it online. I want to play it online. 
But um, maybe the new one would yeah. be online. Yeah, I doubt I would have it. Loved it. It's I would possible. Have loved it. I doubt yeah. it, but it's possible. Put it on the wish list. Yeah, they seem to have very much kind of um, cheery fella. <laughs> suits me to a T. <laughs> Feels like somebody was separated at birth. birth. <laughs> So essentially, yeah, I basically bought like way too much, you know, way, way too many. It's very easy to get very sort of into it and just buy. He hasn't buy. the boat yet. He needs the boat. Uh, I need the boat. I, need, kind of I need, need the castle thing as well. So <laughs> it's also, also awesome. And, and also the... Um, oh, game in Folkestone. He needs that stand. <laughs> uh, I, I need the giant portal that they yeah. have on the... Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's massive. Yeah. It's like sort of. It's like an arcade machine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's an arcade machine like, with yeah. a massive portal on it. It's yeah. absolutely fantastic. I want it. I'm going there with a screwdriver. They showed you that little bit there last in game. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, just sort of, you know, winding it all up. Basically, I, I've kind of bought a hell of a lot. I haven't bought anything else this month at all. It's all been Skylanders. And I played the one game one off the other. I've, I've got a ridiculous amount of hours out of Swap Force and Giants. I still got a lot of hours, like 15, 20 out of Spire's Adventure. I still really enjoyed it, but nowhere near as many hours as the other ones. Um, you don't have to put the hours into the other ones, but you can do. Mm. And um, I will, because I enjoy Spyro so much. Essentially, I, I would recommend really leaving like, the Wii U version and going for like one of the other ones. Um, the Wii version runs okay, does it? I mean, the Wii U version, I should say. The Wii U yeah. version. Uh, the Wii version is fine, though. The Wii version's all right. They're but... cheap everywhere, the Wii ones, isn't they? Yeah, yeah, the Wii yeah, version. Is, but... Not yeah. normally the Wii U ones, though. The no. Wii U ones are generally slightly more expensive. Definitely though. recommend them. Um, and now's a good time to buy as well, really. Um, obviously, we've missed the best sales, even. Mm. But with the new Skylands being announced to come out in October this year, the last, this lot has been like a fire sale on everywhere. Mm. Ha, yeah. ha, fire. Uh, mm. And. Um, there's been there's been yeah. stupid bargains, you know. It, it, there's there's been like sort of figures like two pound fifty, and yeah. you know. And I've brought a lot of box brand new figures for two pound fifty, and it, it's just been stupid how much how cheap a lot of these have been and whatever. Yeah. So. Um, I mean, there's summer holidays coming up as well. Your kids will get the lots of enjoyment. Out. They'll be in their room leaving you alone. Yeah. Or quite the opposite. I mean, if you want something, yeah, you can actually sit. If you want something, you can yeah. really sit down and play with your kids. Like, yeah. really sit down and play with your kids. Get Skylanders. But yeah, you know, price on the whole. Wise, price wise, definitely get it. Um, I, would, I wouldn't know what to say, but I'm happy to start with the first one, which is yeah. Spyro. Yeah. It's a Spyro, Giants, then Swap Force. I know of a lot of people, especially ones who've bought the Xbox One, they go and buy Swap Force. First, they go and buy Swap Force first and play that. People. And that is one of the hardest ones to actually kind of do because you need the most expensive figures. Yeah. You need the newest, the most expensive stuff. Even though you can still use old figures and stuff, but to get to everything, you need um, the swappable figures, and they're quite expensive. When you can get figure, normal figures for two pound fifty, and the Swap Force ones average you about fourteen. Yeah, they're sitting in like some eighteen as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's really, really, really pricey. Mm. So you, you don't want to be doing that. You're better off with the old ones. Get a good collection going and just carry your figures over. I mean, that's the great thing. You can just bounce between them. Yeah, absolutely bounce between them. Mm. So um, fully recommended and um, awesome. Quite me as well because I loved it. It's, I played the first one to death. And yeah, especially got kids, one to go out and get. Okay, if you like what you see, please uh, leave a comment below, uh, push that like button and, and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to have more subscribers, please, that'd be really cool.